Hello everybody, my name is Jai and welcome back to another Model Trains video. Um, today I, get, I just came back again from Rail and Rail Hobbies and I, if you saw the thumbnail, um, you'll know that it's probably more of a Wii type of lot that I got. So anyway, I did get a decent amount of stuff in here. Uh, the first four items is, I'm pretty sure it's the Sandlander, um, or the Senior Pacific um, passenger carriages. Now these are the first ever passenger carriages that I'm ever going to open on camera. But I do have um, more other passenger carriages, well only one other type, and it's um, LMS coaches. But these are actually Australian, so I've got four of them. Uh, so here's the last one, so they're all the same. Uh, another thing I got was this weird thing. Um, it does seem quite old for um it does definitely seem quite old for its age. Um but the last thing was well, probably something I wouldn't really probably think about but I did. Um I actually did get a second hand locomotive. Um so yeah this is all the stuff that we're gonna be looking at today and we're gonna be opening all of them in this video. So yep. Let the opening begin. So the first thing we're going to open is just this. Now, I think it's a UK um, carriage, but I think I will um, uh, I will probably change its couplers and maybe make it into like um, an Australian carriage because it does look quite similar to an Australian carriage. Or it needs like the VR or something, then it's totally um, perfect. It does have metal wheels, but it does look, look like that they do need a bit of a clean. So, I will probably get this a bit of a clean later. Um, anyway, we have obviously got the um, passenger rolling stock. We'll have a quick look at the box, but um, like I said, this is either from the train that goes from Sydney to Melbourne, or it's the um, train that goes from like, the GAN, that the GAN or something. Um, anyway, in the back. But you can get this type of train, like these passenger coaches in the train set. All I need now is the um, locomotive, and then essentially I've got the entire collection. So anyway, I've got a trusty knife here. I'm going to open her up now. Now, all of these are second hand, I should say. So there might be some bits or whatever that might drop off. I'm um, just going to find out how to get this thing out. Ah. Here we go. Oh good, there's no wheels falling out. They are plastic unfortunately, but that's all well. Um, but they were all, they were only $30 each, but there you go. You can definitely tell that they are quite old. But in my opinion, they don't look too bad. You got some nice seating and all that in there. I'm not sure if you can see through the wind uh, through the glare, but uh, you should should hopefully um anyway i'll open the rest of these with um again the knife i'll just bring the camera down a little bit more it's like saying they're all about thirty dollars each so all up that was 90 uh 90 to 120 dollars i think i think about 120. uh now where the heck is this sticky tape uh, I don't want to really damage the box because the box could be quite like, valid, v v valuable or whatever, whatever you say. can't really speak words that properly. But again, and I actually didn't look underneath, didn't I? So that's the underneath detail. Um, so yep, that's now two. Um, that away. Um, now, obviously, the boxes don't seem like they're in really good condition, so that's um, unfortunate. But at least it looks like the carriages, like all of them, might be all right. I hope they are, anyway. Hopefully, there aren't any breaking, like broken bits or pieces in these things. Um, there you go again, same. 
And then the last one, I'm pretty sure I good. This one already has no sticky tape on it. This is probably the one I should have opened first, but it doesn't matter. Uh, where's its thing? Here's how you open it. There's a little sliding thing just there. Right, so that's obviously all the um, basic stuff added away. Again, the same. Uh, now it's time for my second hand engine. Now, the guy did run this engine. Um, and it did actually run quite well, so it does run. It was about a hundred dollars, um, if you can see. And it is an FN locomotive, but obviously this is a completely different box. Um, but here she is. So it is an American one, uh, but I think it's like some a passenger one. I'll have to get that hundred dollar sticker off later, but as you can see. She looks quite beautiful. She's got a bit of weight to her, so that's obviously always good. Um, the front. Now, it doesn't look like that it has any lights, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so, yeah, that's the front. Looks like that the coupler has been a bit bent, but that's all okay. Uh, so, under frame, it's another six wheel drive. I think I will probably try to clean its wheels. Because they do look quite dirty. But I will just let it run in for a little bit. And just see. So anyway. That's the number DL38. That's. Oh no actually it's got the Australian number. So it is actually an Australian locomotive. So it's not, a, not an American one. I just realised that. Well, it does have a back light on it. But. Um, I see. Oh but maybe they're fake. I don't know. Well, we will obviously um, find out, but that's all the stuff I got. Um, clean that little thing. So all up, that was a fair bit of money, but that's per usual. That's how it is. But at least the good thing is, what I got, at least um, none of it's broken. And in my opinion, it was pretty much worth it. So anyway, I'll get the engine on the track, and then we'll let her run in for a little bit. So see you then. Okay. Oh. Okay, I've got the um, train on the track, and we are now going to um, just run it for a little bit. Um, I have already tested; it doesn't have uh, um, it doesn't have any lights, so that's sad. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. Its wheels are quite badly dirty, so they do need a clean. So I am not going to let it run for too long. Um, after like a couple of minutes of recording, it just going around, and I will clean the wheels and hopefully that will make the motor not strained as much but anyway um, let's get her running there she goes Uh, well, for how much it is, it is probably a, a little bit dear, considering that it's a second-hand engine, but considering that it still runs quite well for its age, I guess it's not really a really bad boy, isn't it? Anyway, I'll get some camera shots, um, and then we'll look at um, this stuff right here. Good um, roof detailing as well, um, but yeah, it is a good runner. And like I say, if we clean its wheels, it will probably be an even better runner. But all in all, um, I'll just stop it for now, and uh, we'll go in reverse now. We're not for too long. I'll go a little bit slower, but as you can obviously tell. It is a, a bit rattly, so it's a sign that it is old, and it is probably not going to last unless we clean its wheels. So, when we clean its wheels, it'll probably be a lot better.
Okay, I'm going to bring it to a stop. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I did. This probably does have working lights. This these light this light here and I think a couple of times on the line in the front there, they were both flashing. So they this thing does have lights, but um unless we pull it apart, I don't think the lights will work. Unless they are blown out, because gosh knows how old this thing is. It's probably it's probably been as it's probably been in the shop for nearly two years, I think. So, you know, it's quite an old engine, and it has ran for quite a while. And that smell, whew, you can definitely um, smell the motor from here. But, um, all in all, I am still happy that I got it. Um, but it does look like that it does have lights that do work, maybe. Um, like the cables or whatever might not be connected to the motor properly, or, like saying, the lights might be, like, blown out, but... I mean, really, the lights don't matter, but all in all, the lights did flash, so there might be some life left, like, there might be some life left in the lights. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Me and my dad were going to clean the wheels and maybe pull it apart just to look, just to make sure um, the motor is perfect, you know, because I know that it runs, but, you know, you never know. But anyway, we are going to be testing the rolling stock, but not with this engine. We're going to be doing it with um, another locomotive I have. Um, so, see you in a minute. Okay, I've got the carriages on there, and like I said, we've got a most famous train on the channel again. So, anyway, it's the only train that has, um, the right couplers, really, for it. Um, but anyway, let's get her going with her, um, little passenger train. Whoops, wrong way. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, of course, I hope that you did um, enjoy it. We didn't um, run one carriage, and I was afraid one, but uh, I don't think it was. I don't think um, it's um, too, too, too bad to not run at least one carriage. But um, anyway, I am glad that I got these. These are um, my, the second passenger carriage that, passenger carriage that I have. Um, they are obviously the first ones that I have um, opened and put on my channel. And as you can see, I do have other ones here, but they are UK ones. So LMS ones. That goes for that LMS train over there. In there, I should say. But anyway, the only thing I need is the um, the GAN, um, the NR GAN, or the Pacific National um, NR train. And then, um, essentially, it's technically complete. Now you, you can get a train set where it does include like three of these carriages and one engine and a loop of track, but it's around like three hundred dollars. So in my opinion, this was only about one hundred and twenty dollars to get four of these. So and plus the the engine, like um, in the train set, I think you can maybe get them separately. 
um, on a cheap side, they would probably be around 60 or 70 dollars, maybe a hundred mostly, but in my opinion it would be a lot more cheaper to get this stuff separately if you can find it. Um, but anyway, I think it's um, a great time. Uh, sorry, um, I think it was um, a great buy, especially that um, engine there, uh, which is just up there, which we are going to clean its wheels out later. Um, because in my opinion, because the wheels are so dirty um, on that um, second hand engine, I think um, the lights that are on that thing do still work, but because either the, the cord that's, that goes to the motor, um, to the light, the, the cord could be loose or not connected properly, or it's not getting enough um, voltage, because um, the motor's probably drawing so much current. Um, and another thing is, um, it is another six-wheel drive engine, so that's another 12-axle train, so in other words, that's my second one, and plus, it might not have the best motor, but it can definitely carry a lot of carriages, because it'll have a lot of grip. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, um, and see you soon. Bye-bye.